Hi, my name's David Wise, a video game composer, and today we're going to take a deeper dive into my waterfall demo for Pixel. For my demo track Waterfall, I want a watery style 16-bit feel. Let's have a look at the string sound. I'll choose this magic shroom pad. We'll have a listen. There's a bit too much going on, so I'll simplify it, because I want to put some heart parts over the top. I'm going to take all of the effects off, and I'll concentrate on the core sound. I want a slower sound. I'll find the right balance for the octave mix. Denti's charm is giving a little bit of crunch and 8-bit noise to the sound. I'm going to mess around with the octave mix again and find the right blend for the string character. And adding the ambience again, it's stadium reverb suits so the overall effect I'm looking for. Next, I'm going to add the delay back in. The Super NES had a rather distinctive delay sound, which I think sounds very much like a ping pong delay set to a sync of 16th notes. There was never enough memory available to have anything much bigger than a 16th delay with a moderate amount of feedback or the number of repeats. Let's tweak this to the final desired sound. For me, this is enough as the strings are there to support other instruments. Now we have a solid string pad, I want to add some harps and start creating some movement for the introduction. The sound is fittingly called Plink Plunk, and it's perfect for what I need it for. I'll have a listen to the initial sound. Again, I'm looking for that SNES type sound, a short sound with a ping pong delay synced to sixteenths. I have an ambience on there to give it a lift. I also have a compressor on there too to tighten the sound and give it even more plinky plunkiness. As this low harp is part of the bass end and it's going to be playing with a contrasting high harp sound, I want this harp part to be fairly muted. I'm just going to listen to some of the different colours available here. I think all of them are nice and all of them are musically useful. So before moving on to add the high harp in there, let's listen to the harp with the strings. Hi harp. I'm going to choose the same plinky plunk sound. I'm going to turn the finisher off and I'll set the delay to a 16th ping pong delay. The great thing about this sound is the colour macro, and that will add lots of movement when recorded into the door. So let's have a listen to that in context. Again, I really like the way the colour changes the sound over time, it adds so much character to the performance of the harp sound. Let's talk about the lead sound. Obviously the lead sound is the most important sound and for this I've chosen harmonica in space. I'm using the dark and bright knob a lot in this track along with pitch bend. If we go down to the button on the bottom right next to the keyboard you'll see that I've changed the bend range to 1. The bend range can go up to 4 octaves. I'm trying to recreate a plausible emulation of a harmonica and a semitone here is more than enough for a harmonica. What I'm trying to do is emulate a wind player with real-time controls and the two controller lanes we can see here are the dark bright control in U-Synth along with the pitch bend control. As a wind player runs out of breath the sound naturally becomes darker and less bright and loses a little volume and the pitch tends to fall away too. 
I've tried to emulate this by drawing the curves in with my graphics pen, which is a very quick way of editing and adding large amounts of controller data. On the higher controller lane, you can see the data going from bright to dark, and the lower lane shows the pitch bend data. Both work in tandem as the note falls away. Hopefully, this will give the illusion that someone is actually giving a harmonica performance. The bass consists of two parts. I have a mallet sound to give movement, we'll come to that next. Underneath that we have the wonderful deep chip bass. This uses two 8-bit style waveforms that work really well when they're combined and mixed together to make a very rich and deep bass sound. I'll choose the deep chip bass sound from the library. This is what it sounds like out of the box. I also need a bit of movement over a two bar phrase, going from dark to light. The preset is almost perfect, however I want the sound to be slightly shorter. And I'll add a bit more of the finisher effect. It's simply called thickness. I'm not sure what it does exactly, but it really does make the sound thicker and works really well on this bass preset. The colour macro here is just the mix between the two different waveforms. I'm going to add a bit more attack, and this bass boost just emphasises the deeper frequencies. I'll have a quick listen to these in context. Yes, they work really well for me, so I'll add the mallet in next. For the other part of the bass sound, I wanted a marimba, or certainly something very mallety, and for this one, I've chosen Hit and Run, and that sounds something like this. Which isn't quite what I want. I want to have a more rhythmic sound and more of a wooden mallet quality to it. The sequence is playing, I'll just click it off and instantly it's more the mallet sound I'm looking for. I'm going to turn the delay off, add the ambience, along with a finisher so I can hear the sound in more detail. I want the sound to have character and I want it to have some movement in the sound as we play it. And there's plenty of variation here when using the dark to bright macro. I'll change the colour, add a bit of clickiness, add a bit more synthesizer sound, and then hear this in context. As this sound needs to work with the other bass sound, it needs to have a good contrast and lots of movement. Let's take a listen. I'll add the pumper preset in the finisher section. I like that, that works perfectly for me. Let's see what it sounds like with the other bass sound. Eight bit percussion was usually the noise channel or a combination of noise and pulse or perhaps triangle. If the lead programmer on the project was feeling particularly generous, we might be gifted a small kick or snare sample occasionally, but this was always at the expense of CPU cycles for graphics or gameplay. The game's console would literally have to temporarily freeze whilst the sample played. To recreate a retro styled kick sound in Pixel, I'm going to choose the preset Ricochet. Here I'm going for the typical quirky noise channel sound. I've turned the finisher off. I'm going to alter the fast and slow to be shorter and I'll reduce the brightness to remove some of the higher frequencies. 
I want less ambience and I want the delay set to 8 to blend in with the Martian rhythm. I'll make it a little darker now and slightly longer. That sounds more like the kick I'm looking for. Very straightforward, so let's move on to the snare. This is very similar to the kick. I'll choose the preset Ricochet again. I'll change the five macros here to get more of a punchy high snare sound. For the delay, I'll change it to eights again to match in with the Martian rhythm. I'll change the ambience to a gated sound. And now that's sounding more like the type of snare sound I was looking for. The last thing I'd like to do here is to turn the finisher on and choose the compressor. This just gives the sound a little more punch and weight. I'm happy with that. Now let's hear it in context with the kick just to check that these work well together. I want a nice retro video game type arpeggio for the riser that lifts it from the intro section into the main core of the sound. I'm going to choose a great preset sound in Pixel called Drama King. Let's have a quick listen to it. I'm going to turn the finisher off so we can have a good listen to what's going on and the same with the ambience. Let's start adjusting these macros. I'll change the depth. Then the rate. That's sounding nice. Now that's starting to sound like a retro video game type of sound. So I'll just tweak a few more things. And here's the effect I want. I'm going to make it brighter. Finally, if we hear it in the context of the track, we should start to hear the ARP lift the track as it goes into the next section. Now hopefully you found that deeper breakdown useful and it will help you with your own creations with Pixel. So until next time, Thank you.